called in the loving plan of God. The Order of the Most Holy Trinity and of Captives is a religious community founded over 800 years ago by St. John de Matha for the redemption of captive Christians. To this day, the Trinitarian brothers continue to pursue their ministry of charity and love and serving those less fortunate, the needy and the poor, with the mercy of God's love. I remember when two brothers of the American province who were native Indians left the United States in order to found the order here in India. It was a moment of great expectation and it was a time for all of us to be excited in the possibility of the order being founded and established here. From two brothers coming and living very simply in a very simple building to now having five communities in India spread from the northeast down to the south of Kerala and in Bangalore. It is a marvel to see so many men who have entered our order, who have persevered and who are now doing such good works in the spirit of St. John de Matha, the founder of the Trinitarian Order. These men who have joined our order and who are now not only working in India, but around the world. Upholding the freedom of all people, especially the broken, who are marked by the hardships of the human condition, the Trinitarians are committed to a way of life rooted in the gospel and expressed in works of mercy and redemption. We are committed to those who suffer because of their faith in Jesus Christ. Moved by the unity and redemptive love of the Holy Trinity, we the Trinitarians in India have chosen to live out our consecrated lives in the worship of the Triune God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. What is remarkable about the Order of the Most Holy Trinity is that it was born within the Eucharist. St. John the Matha, the founder of the Trinitarians, as he was celebrating the first Mass, as he elevated the Holy Eucharist, he had the vision and where he saw Christ seated between two captives. We live in communities following the charism of our founder, St. John the Matha. We commit ourselves to work on behalf of those persecuted for their faith in Jesus Christ, the imprisoned, and on behalf of those oppressed by the social evils of our day. A Trinitarian presence is a loving presence. A Trinitarian presence is a giving presence. And a Trinitarian presence is a healing presence in the world. My motto is to love God and serve His people and praise to the Most Holy Trinity. In this day of ever-increasing conflicts, both at the international and national levels, and conflicts even enter home realms, in communities, and in interpersonal relationships, it's so important and urgent that there is a, a revived spirit of fraternity and solidarity among all of us. The best thing that could possibly help us is to see the other as your brother or your sister. Founder Saint John the Matha was a God sent prophet who courageously incarnated the theme of redemptive liberation by founding the Trinitarian Order in 1198. We Trinitarians continue to stand 
with Christians and Catholics in solidarity and will defend their right to practice their faith in Jesus Christ. Listening to the cry of those who are persecuted and oppressed by unjust systems and structures, we Trinitarians share and proclaim the good news to the poor, freedom to the oppressed and captives and joy to the afflicted. He spent his entire life to liberate those Christian captives. He thus brought glory to the triune God. He did not do anything for himself. Instead, he glorified the triune God. And he went about doing good for others. Jesus' commandment is, Love God and love one another. By giving glory to the triune God, he loved God. We are a community getting involved by word and deed in people's daily lives and stand by people at every step of the way, no matter how difficult or lengthy this may be. The charismatic legacy and vision of our founder Saint John the Matha is embraced by every Trinitarian and we incarnate the redemptive love to the humanity and give glory to the Holy Trinity. I believe that our founder, the founder of the Order of the Most Holy Trinity and of the captives, was a visionary. He had a great vision not only for the time he lived, but also he had a broader vision for the future. And that's why I think though the order was founded in 1198, that is in the 12th century, he had foreseen that the world would be going through a lot of need for liberation. A lot of captivity will be in the world. A Trinitarian presence is a loving presence. A Trinitarian presence is a giving presence and a Trinitarian presence is a healing presence in our world today. In solidarity, in brotherhood with one another, our communities, our families and the world in which we live becomes a better place.